So so now that Brady's there, right? I saw. A, uh, did you see Skip Bayless and Sh- uh, going against uh, Shannon Sharp? And then you know he told told <laughs> him to take Skip, his glasses Skip off. Being disrespectful. Was, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> he calls him. He says you'll, you'll never be as good as Brady and stuff like that. Oh wow! Like he's better than you at forty five, and you retired at thirty five. How would you have reacted to that, bro? Like somebody tell you that, and like, why does it come to that? Boy, that that's that's tough because you know I'm the fifth first ballot. Hall of Famer in NFL history. You want to know the other four? Mm. Let, let them know. Bob Lilly. Bob Lilly, who they call Mr. Cowboy. Yeah. Merlin Olson, Mean mm. Joe Green, and Randy White. Mm. And then you. Hey! <laughs> I dare you to tell me that. I don't, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think he could have slugged that one at me. I had. I had ten. I had ten sacks as a thirty-five year old. So I. I, I don't think he could have slugged that one at me. Yeah, no, he couldn't. But do yeah. that. Shannon, but Shannon, think, Shannon's a great player. The, Shannon's a great player, but the tight end player, was not utilized like it would be today. Can you imagine that monster standing in the slot and you couldn't hit him underneath the chin? Yeah. My God, oh my Jesus! He'd have, he'd have ten catches a week. Yeah. Oh. Different game if you would have played. Oh now. my God! I mean. I, I tell somebody. Somebody said it. Somebody said it's not impressive. You know what Trent Dilfer said it. My old quarterback in Tampa. I was watching the Bullies of Baltimore the other night, uh-huh. and Dilfer said, <laughs> "With the middle of the field as wide open as it is, I can appreciate what they're doing, but it's not impressive." <laughs> wow. And that summed it up for me because I was trying to yeah. figure out a way to. You know, right. not to be the old, grumpy, 50-plus-year-old like when right, we right, played, right. but yeah. the middle of the field was precious real estate, son. Right, right, you, you right. Didn't, you didn't just run across that bitch you with, just your run up, go, like, go, with your hand up. You just couldn't run with your hand up like a, and, and smile. And <laughs> <laughs> so do you, did you find it uh, like uh, disrespectful because they said people were saying it was racist? You put your glasses back on. I, I don't I didn't find it that way. But wait, 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 wait. What happened now? Who, what are we talking you about? You know, when Skip, when Skip told Shannon, put, put your glasses back on. You know what? That it was more like you ain't about to whoop my ass, so put your glasses back on. Oh, okay, you're not gonna do nothing. Because when yet. a man takes off his glasses, that wears glasses, that's normally yeah. a fight time. Right, right. And that's why you I should, think that's what he said. Nothing. I'll go, I'll go that route with it, cause you know, like they were saying, Tony Romo was about to say the N word. Number yeah, fifty five. Number fifty five is clearly a white middle linebacker, so there wasn't three niggas on the tackle. <laughs> so what I what I was gonna go with was three non tackling motherfuckers. What he wanted wanted to say. He's a nut, nut. He's a nut, right? That was come no. They, come on, they, number yeah. fifty five is clearly. A white middle linebacker. Right. Right. There wasn't three niggas missing the tackle. It was right. three non tackling right. motherfuckers. Non tackling. No. I think that's where you wanted to go. Three non tackling motherfuckers. <laughs> How can you tell somebody that what they're almost going to say? And there's not three brothers there. <laughs> I mean, just, just, hey, let, let's, let's give the somebody tape. the benefit of the doubt until, because the one thing I've learned in 50 years of living, if you use this word, there's nothing that's going to stop it from coming out. Right. It flows mm-hmm. off the tongue it too just comes freely. Up to t- easy. Yeah. Too freely for you to stop yeah. it. Right. And when you excite it, she. <laughs> it just comes like, on. You get, like, like you're not almost going to say it. Like we say in the hood, coach, nigga, please. <laughs> nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you say that. It's going to fly. It's going to fly. Nigga, please. Right. It's going to fly. On. Nigga, please. Right off the tongue. Right okay. off the tongue. 